Hola, ¿cómo está usted? Today I'm here with the Samsung S3 Mini and I updated the iOS Pokrom for this phone and it's powered by Golden Nova by nobody else than McClaw and he's the king of this phone. The other day you met King Apirex, the king of the Galaxy Advance and McClaw is the king of the S3. Why? The S3 Mini by the way. Why? Because uh, he created a lineage OS for this phone, Android 7.12, just think of it. This thing is on KitKat, I think, somewhere there at Samsung. So, um, I created a very nice ROM and we're gonna install it. I did not really test it yet. So if something goes wrong, you must forgive me. So there we are. Close the cover. We're gonna put this phone into a recovery mode and we continue from there. What you're looking at is the updated ROM, the iPhone X uh, iOS ROM for the Samsung S3 mini. It's already running on the S5, here you can see it. And it's really beautiful. It also has some new updated apps, as you can see. And uh, tja, also the dialer was updated. Nice blue dialer, beautiful. So this also gives some innovative look, uh, feels to the device. Um, I have a one-on-one -on -one app store. This is a, a clone of the Apple App Store and in fact, that app store, I'm not gonna inject it in the ROMs that I'm gonna give to you, okay? Because I'm still testing it and uh, I think that uh, I must test it first before I can, you know, let you guys use it. Yeah, uh, you will not find all the apps uh, that you see in here up there, but most of them will be in there. So, yeah, the look and feels are, are really beautiful. As you can see, this all we're gonna also have in in uh, in the phone, in the little phone there. The beautiful iNote. You can see that the installer takes kind of long because the ROM is also kind of big. It's about 400 and something megabytes, so that's that's pretty big for a ROM for that phone. So we'll have to see if uh, the phone can handle it all and if it's gonna work good. But uh, it really works nice on uh, on the Samsung S5. Okay, Google. How about it? Okay, Google. Start up my Samsung S3 mini. Okay, Google, who is your daddy and what does he do? Here's a matching video. What I also removed, but now have built in, is the MIUI wallpapers. But the wallpapers is removed, the MIUI is removed, and you will have something like this in that room, because I found it more looking good. If you go to wallpaper, you have a new section here. You see, this is new. Desktop wallpapers. And in here, you're going to find all the iOS wallpapers that you want to use. These are the ones that are stocked, uh, stored on the device. You see? I'm going to set this one. It's so lovely. And if the text is white, uh, black and you want the text white, you go to personalization. You can set it to auto. And then it should be white. See? It's a very intelligent uh, little uh, app that will know if the background is dark. And then it will show white. And if the background is very light, it will show black. Nice, huh? Very intelligent. Up here you can also see that today is Friday the 27th. You see that? So this thing is also... And the clock... If you look at the clock, it's moving. You see that? Yep. 
is moving. So that is kind of cool. It looks good. Okay. I also removed the maps because I don't know. I think if you want maps, you should uh, find it yourself. What I'm looking for to add uh, to my to my mod and to my ROMs is a good Navi. I want a nice navigator, but one that will be completely free and, you know, no issues. But effect, yeah, this will be in the S5, but not in the S, S3 mini. It's, I think it's going to be too much, don't you think? So we do have... Uh, Google Maps here. So that is also very, 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 very nice effect. This lock screen you will not get because it's spamming too much banners. It's blocked in the firewall, of course. If you don't, if you're not gonna use the built-in firewall of your ROM, then yeah, probably you you are a thief of your own, uh, how you say that, pleasure. Yeah, that's the best way to say it. If you don't want to be a thief of your own pleasure, you should go in the firewall and block all these apps that you see that I also blocked. Of course, not the apps that need the internet to connect, but my music you can easily block root browser you could block you know these things here 10 cent video you cannot block otherwise you know updater i'm not gonna block and in fact we also have youtube in here but you will find out that youtube is not working i must remove it i forgot to remove it because you need the google play service so i don't want to take no look at this thing anymore so gone if I want to watch a YouTube video, it's very easy. Oh yeah, I <laughs> permissions denied. <laughs> All permissions are denied there. Okay, wait, hold on. The S3 arrived. Let's take a look at the S3, what it became, if it's any good. It won't be exactly the same as the S5, as I already said. It will be a little bit different. But that you're going to see. I also built in some log insecurity into the into the room. That means that we cannot get stuck, that we cannot log in. That won't happen to us. It will log in straight away. Here we must swipe to continue. That is the lock screen that just arrived. Give it a second, we're gonna get one error. It will crash you see that and now it's gonna open okay and now step one after you are in the home screen the first thing that you're gonna do the very 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 first thing okay that is go to root browser cancel that scroll down and look for the system folder go in there and then you're gonna find a folder called updates you see that tap it open and here you can see several apps the first one that you're gonna install is the ios 11 xda apk it will say that we must unblock unknown sources that we do that here and we go one back we run it again and we install it. And soon we're gonna get one more crash and that will be the crash of the previous iOS launcher. We will get it now somewhere here. Here we're gonna get a crash. It's gonna appear anytime from now. Kijk, there it is. You see that? That's the previous launcher. It's not this one. You see this one is still on. So the second thing that you're going to do, step two, is hit the little 11 there. Go to personalization. Go to layout. 
and just simply hit four rows and then go back just hit the backspace it's gonna restart just give it permission here to be used for always hit the home one more time and say it and say always hey I cannot say oh ah, here always okay so now it will always go to there so step three step three is go to settings go to display go to wallpaper and here you will find a new section this I added to here it's called desktop wallpapers and it was powered by Huawei. this was made by Huawei. so all credits for this app goes to Huawei. and you can see Huawei have beautiful beautiful wallpapers on board let's go for this one I like it so we go back okay so you don't have no app anymore that you must click before to, to get another wallpaper you know it's now all built in you can also do that from here personalization change wallpaper and then you go there you see that desktop wallpapers that's how it's called okay so now you have a nice beautiful wallpaper uh, the next thing to do is as you can see I know T is not turned on yet I was saying I know T we're gonna set up I know T that would be step 3 up here you will find out that you can turn on some things let's turn on and give some permission to these apps here so we can use and toggle the little thingies that are connected to it such as the camera and you know the flashlight and so if you're not gonna give them permission then we cannot use these buttons then <laughs> they are there for nothing so we turn that on and then we go one back so I know T is turned on and this is I know T this is how I know T looks so I think that is uh, that is really beautiful okay so here we're gonna slide that up and the mid one we have up there so that is nice um, we also have a lock screen peeps the lock screen you just saw it and the lock screen is this one here of course it's the reliable uh, iOS uh, lock screen that we already used in the beginning of this month and just scroll down and make sure to disable the lock screen that comes with the device enable pin let's enable a pin skip skip okay and now I want to quit there it is Okay, so the lock screen works. Haha, <laughs> it arrived. And now we can log in. Okay, now we can continue to the fourth step. The fourth step will be testing if the phone works. Get started. Okay, and this is the black dialer and in fact that is exactly what it is it's a dialer and when you dial it will then dial via the official phone of the yeah of the of the room so in fact yeah i'm i'm not even sure if if i like this I, I i don't like that you know i like a phone to be right there and besides the phone app of the yeah of the of the lineage os the phone that comes with 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 our phones the samsung phones in fact, they are powerful phones because they have a complete VoIP built in. Eh? They have a VoIP built in. So, in fact, um, we can insert our VoIP account and use it without any SIM card. And with this, you will not be able to do it. Yes, you can, of course, still use this as a dialer. But then it's going to dial via the other blue phone. So, I think it looks kind of ridiculous to, you know, have a black dialer and then it pointing to some phone some blue phone <laughs> that is built in that is like you know you have somebody standing at the door and then in fact that guy must do the work 
but then he <laughs> he cannot do the work he's just yelling to the guy some stairs up to do the work that's crazy you know so in fact this is just bagage so I, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put this into the into the room I, I did not find a good ios dialer yet most of the times they are not dialers they are just links links to the real dialer and that to me is is not is not good enough the, you know if some developer out there will make a, a dialer special ios dialer good looking dialer you know if the developer would make a dialer for the yeah for these phones that would be nice but a real dialer a real dialer a rewritten dialer or maybe i don't know a cloned dialer that might work you know so that that is effect it what i think about the dialer so i'm not really uh i don't think it's really fantastic as you can hear peeps i'm criticizing my own works here or my own works the things that i put together you know i did not create the dialer the dialer was one that i chose out of a bunch of dialers that were you know uh, available for me to use but i'm still not yeah i'm still not happy so yeah i'm not gonna talk about the dialer anymore but you can see that um i have several uh things here in this in this room tools to kind of fix my my icons or you know do some changes myself uh, afterwards and i advise you to do the same you know go to deviant art with your computer download a nice uh, ios icon package and put it standard in your sd on your sd card in your phone so you can always get to it and and change things around and and make things beautiful because you will be able to do that thanks to the eye launcher this this launcher that you see is a very powerful launcher it is the best ios launcher in the world there is no better one all those that want to pretend to you know there is no better launcher than this this is it okay if you want to create the ios device from an android uh, phone this is what you need this launcher and nothing else it's not the dialer this is the dialer so in fact yeah i'm not sure about this you know i'm not sure about this i think this is also very lovely nothing wrong with it okay right am i mistaken Maybe I should look for, for a better dialer. I see that my health app is here. This is a good app. You're a man. You're 178 kilos. You're 2 meters 30. And you was born somewhere there. And you don't do too much then. You must walk 5,564 steps to lose 661 calories. And you can move this a little bit more. So if you're going to make 6,000 steps, it's not bad. 6,000 steps. You know, 6,000 steps. It's one hour walking every day. And then, you know, you lose 700 calories. On this phone, you see, here it really works. It looks beautiful. But in fact, it's, it's also a pointer. Look at that. This is another phone. It's not that phone that we called with. This is somebody else is doing the work. This thing is only for the show. So, in fact, this is really stupid. It's really stupid app. It's not a dialer at all. It has nothing to do with the dialer. Only thing that it is, it's 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 <laughs> it's a message man. This I call this the message man. So yeah. I'm going to leave it for the S5 for you boys and girls that want to play with it, you know, if you like it. You can hide the other app and, you know, because this thing looks blue, it won't hurt. If you're going to if you're going to make a call, it won't hurt you so much because you still see the blue and you still see the round uh, thing there. You see, and if you had a picture here of the person you were called, you would see that picture. This looks good. On the S5 it looks good, but on the S3 it does not look good at all. And you see, now I'm pressing here that I want to end the call. It's not working. 
That's why I'm telling you it's a stupid device. I mean, uh, <laughs> stupid device, it's a stupid phone. It's a stupid app. You know, because now to hang the phone, I must go to my other app. Here. Where is it? Oh, here. You see that? So, in fact, yeah, this makes totally no sense using a dialer. That's why I never include these things. If there is some XDA developer that's going to create a dialer that looks like this, that's a different story. But then you don't need the other dialer anymore. Then the dialer will be one that will override the other dialer. So you're going to deal with only one dialer. You see? That's why I don't put dialers in my... You know, I started with the lock screen because there is a very nice lock screen available. Hey, where's my lock screen? No, yeah, also not working. These things, they work when they want. Or don't I even have a lock screen? Or did I disable it? What did I do? Oh, yeah, in here I had another lock screen. And that was this one, I think. Yeah. And this was it. You see that? Uh, these guys, the whole day they're begging for rating. I would be ashamed if I would be a developer like that to, to beg for ratings whole day. You know, I mean like, if you don't want to give the app free, don't give it. But don't bother the people with lots of, you know, nonsense. It's their phone. They must deal with it, right? Don't you agree, peeps? That's why it's hard for me to find good, good apps that come without advertisement and all these things sometimes i have to deal with it just like with uh, the root browser oh yeah i also said uh, said told you that we have i files uh, i file wants to get root access in fact we can deny it it does not need root access but this is uh, i file you see and in here you can go to all your folders and things you know you can also run an installer from here for instance, if you want to install screen recorder, as you can see, I cannot uh, hit the the thing. So, in some way, now I can hit it. You see? This is the best screen recorder available. I might push it into the to this room as well. So, yeah, um, in the I, iPhone, uh, the, the iPhone, the S5, you will also find finance, Yahoo Finance. Here you can read all sorts of things about your money. And I have this here. This is a player. You can play music with it. It's They call it iTunes player. Um, yeah. We have an app store here. It's a one-on-one -on -one app store. You see that? It's also very nice, but I did not put it into the S3, and I have my reasons for that. You know, the S3 is a phone that 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 should not have too much nonsense. I want to show you one more thing before we're gonna end the show because I showed more than enough. Here we're gonna go to uh, system, find your system folder with root browser, and. Um, in system go to update updates and here you're gonna find some some apps and uh, well aptoid you will have to reinstall because even though it's installed and even though it opens without the error you will find out that you cannot download anything. It will give an error at the download. When you, whenever you're gonna click something to download, it's gonna say error. And the only fix for that is by reinstalling it. So I put the apps for you uh, in the folder, but uh, you must give me some time because I'm still working on, 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 on the ROM and on the mods. So they are not done yet. Uh, they will be released somewhere November 1st or so. 
So give me some uh, some time for that, but you can start with uh, going to our Facebook site, go to uh, Pukrom, leave the site uh, a like, and of course, uh, leave a message there, request the ROM for the S3 Mini or the S4, S5, S6, uh, I mean the mods for the for those phones and the ROMs for the Advance and the S3 Mini, those will get the ROMs. The Gio will also get a new ROM, although I'm thinking to leave the Gio the way it is because I'm kind of happy about how it works. So that's it, my friends. Uh, I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did, leave it a like, subscribe to my channel if you did not already, and of course, of course, don't forget to hit the little notifying bell so you will be updated whenever I upload a new video again. Until then.